I think the first thing is you have to remember that being a school administrator does not mean that you're behind a desk, that you're in your office. It means that you take that approach from serving in the classroom to now you are serving the entire building. You are serving in multiple classrooms. You're also serving in the community, so it encompasses everything. It's the whole reason that I even got into this field is because I was making a difference in my classroom as a high school English teacher, but I wanted to take that beyond those four walls and do that on a larger scale. However, being a building administrator, you realize that there's so many needs, and especially now working in a low wealth district, those needs, a lot of times, it goes far beyond the curriculum. The most fulfilling part is that each day is something different. The hugs that you get from these students and you learn their backstories and you understand that just them coming through the door, that's a miracle in itself. You realize that the needs are great and you realize that you've been put in an opportunity to make a difference. You may not be able to solve every problem, but you're put in that position to be a problem solver, to be a change agent, and you offer kids hope. I make an announcement every morning letting my students know that you came through the doors. Thank you for that. But that's the buy-in to let them know that we understand that their purpose is great, that everyone that comes in contact with them, we get the opportunity to pour into them. So as an African-American educator, I think it's important to let them know that their experiences matter that they will see those examples in the students that they educate daily, and not to be ashamed of their stories. Be able to share those to help those students who mimic them and look like them in the classroom, that you can make it, someone cares about you, and they just may be the individual that makes the change in someone's life. My mother is my biggest influence. She is the best educator that I know. My mom has been an educator for over 45 years. Um, private and then on public sector so for me she gave me the examples you know of that and oftentimes a lot of times you don't want to do the things that your parents do I actually wanted to be a doctor um, growing up I wanted to be a pediatrician obstetrician um, but English found me to serve my community as an educator that's very important to me because as a person of color I feel that I do have a responsibility to be the example Oftentimes, we want things to change, so if you can be the example for those, um, that's very important so that you can set that standard. So for me, as an African-American woman, it's important that I be that uh, for my students, for this community, and to provide opportunities for them to come in and be the change that they want to see.